a funny way of leading us on twists and turns. You know, you plan everything out. For some, it's going to school, getting married, having children. But what happens when a higher being has other plans for you? In our last story honoring women this month, we take a trip to IOTA and talk with a woman, <clears throat> excuse me, who says that she finally stopped to listen and is now following her own path with a little help. Alicia Poussaint says she had it all mapped out, finish high school, on to college, get her master's, get married, start a big family. But when it came to the last part, Alicia says there was something missing. When I graduated college at 25 and realized that I had never dated anyone, uh, there wasn't anyone um, sort of even in that vein that I would have would have considered for that possibility. That realization led her to the only life she thought she could have. So I really kind of started to be open to the possibility of religious life, of more conventional religious life, of being a nun or something like that. That too was proving to be a difficult task. I emailed a couple convents, but they said that because of the time frame that their mother houses were built in, they weren't ADA accessible. Feeling defeated, Alicia says that she would pray every day trying to figure out where life would take her. It wasn't until she came across a blog that it all started coming together. Consecrated virginity, which is a lay vocation in the church, and it is it predates religious life. So this is the life that women would adopt before um, there were convents where people would, women would gather in community. So um, women would vow their virginity to, to Jesus and the church and serve the church. That was their whole, um, their whole charism. Today, she's living her life as a consecrated virgin. Now, many of you are probably like me and you're wondering, you know, what makes Alicia different than a nun? Well, there are a few things. Uh, you know, she doesn't live in a convent. She lives her day to day life and she works 40 hours a week, just like you and me. She owns her own home and she doesn't get any monetary compensation from the church. And if she's asked to do a ministry, she only does it if time allows. So my life really doesn't look any different than anyone else's life from the outside. Really, the only difference that you would see from the outside is that we spend a lot of our time in prayer. But for each woman that looks different because each woman's life looks different, each woman's job looks different. Alicia says the journey is not one that she ever expected to take, but it is rewarding. In the short time since her consecration, she says her path in life has become much clearer. Even the one thing she never associated herself with has become part of her mission. I really don't. I'm not one to very much identify with my disability. I've never been, uh, I was not raised to um, use it as a, a crutch or really even conceptualize it in a way that defines me. And it took some time for me to sort of um, acquiesce to that and realize that maybe that wasn't the, the way that I was most comfortable, but that was how he was reaching people. And that dream of one day having a large family Alicia says it's not going to happen one day because that day's already here. She now has a flock of children who call on her whenever they need a little boost. That, she says, is the biggest blessing of all. And you can check out Alicia's story over on KATC.com.